Hey folks, this is Bobo the Vulture, and this is more Let's Play Gran Turismo 2! Yay! Last time we discovered, uh, well, if you've been reading the comments, you already discovered. But last time we made use of the information that uh, we in fact had better tires for um, the Denso Sard Supra that we'd been using to win all these super crazy cool... Uh... Gran Turismo high-powered challenges. So, now we're going to go ahead and try some of these other ones. I'll be interested to see what special stage R5 looks like, actually. One of the problems I have with my old recording setup, uh, and you would probably hear me whine and complain incessantly about it, was that um, the night races were very difficult to actually see. It was getting dark. Too dark to see. And I didn't know whether or not that was the pass-through. The pass-through on that one was a component video. This one is an HDMI. We'll see if it looks any nicer. Let's see if it's still something I can use as a means to play. It looks kind of dark, but this start-finish straight is not the kind of place where you're going to notice a big difference. car is definitely fast here. This is a car that's very uh, difficult at lower speeds and very at ease at high speeds. It has a lot of downforce. You see this giant wing. It is not all just for show. It is not a Mugen part. Not one of these like A Spec Mugen Plus edition like road cars that we keep seeing with are like this model has an exciting set of aero modifications that make the car look significantly cooler. And it has a sports sound muffler. By the way, it drives and performs exactly the same as the regular car. But it's got wings and crap on it. Okay, so that happened, and two guys got in front of us, but uh, we'll get them back. Catch back up to this big bad vector up here. There we go. Well done, Denso Sardzupra. Hey, guys, keeping up with me. It's not cool. I suppose I should have slowed down more for that, but, uh, I'll never learn.
Oh, this is, this is difficult. Getting around that uh, hairpin is uh, difficult. There's no way to keep the car very stable at those speeds, especially since uh, my substitute for partial throttle is to just jab the throttle really hard and then let go of it really quick. It's not that great a substitute. Boy, that vector is geared to uh, blast down this uh, straight away, then. Gotta catch up with this guy. Oh, I'm not gonna do it by uh, getting the easy parts wrong. Always so tricky right there. Here we go. And now, unfortunately, I can't tell the uh, difference between engine hums and what I thought was the hum of my phone. Yeah, I can catch up to you the same way you can catch up to me. Now I just need to keep ahead of this some bitch, and we'll find out what another one of the prize cars is. No, don't, don't spin, you son of a bitch! No, you stay behind me. You stay behind. You stay behind. Yes. With all the colliding. Stop all the colliding. What are you, some kind of super collider? Ah, uh, super collider, get it. Alright, let's exit. That wasn't so bad. I feel like I could see a little better. It's hard to know, though, for sure. New car acquired. Let's not save, though. Let's continue. Ha ha! Footage. I probably should be measuring how long these uh, particular uh, events are going, but, uh, well, we'll see. Let's go to Rome Circuit. I hear it was not built in a day this this circuit. It's the full course, so it'll be a delightful menu for us all to partake in. Rome Circuit. Full course meal. And uh, the same round of Gran Turismo All-Stars. All-Stars pretty much means at or near the best cars that the game has to offer.
It's gonna be the part where it's difficult, folks. So difficult to keep the car pointing the right way at the right time. Case in point. Right there. There is a car that would make this all better. But it almost feels like cheating because... I mean, by racing in Red Rock Valley, I've established that this car is ultimately as fast as these other cars. It's a matter of... If you have to drive them in finesse sort of situations, like uh, this Rome circuit here, that won't just, like, save you on its own. That Venturi Atlantique, I think, up there in front. Oh no, it's that Selene. I must have already passed the Venturi. have to keep my cool and catch up to this guy. Which may be easier said than done. He's got clear track in front of him. He can drive in a non-buffoonish way, whereas I'll pretty much just continue driving in a buffoonish way. And cars behind me won't be able to do much about it because the street circuit, there's no way to pass. Distracted by being hit by that guy, so I had to break an extra time where I didn't think I should. Alright. I catch up with him in sector one here. Generally. Apparently not quite as easily this time. Alright, that was a little bit better. Part of the key is, of course, always to break a little bit earlier than I feel like I should have to. And I guess do all my accelerating a straight line if I'm at that slow speed. Yeah, 
and maybe I can open up a little bit of a gap here. Hard to say. aren't the best corner entrances or the best corner exits. They're very conservative. But if I'm leading the race, that's maybe the way that I want to go. This is legitimately stressing me out. guys to win. I want to win. And so I shall. So I got new cars from this stuff too. Oh, come on, Rome. The Alpha 155 touring car, you placed last in the Rome race. This is your home turf. You gotta defend that mess. There's another new car. We're not gonna save the game, though to continue. What else is back here on the second? Uh, no, Laguna Seca is. Uh, was there another one that I haven't finished? I won't know until it finishes loading. Nope, it's just Laguna Seca. Well, we're going to give Laguna Seca an honest shot. I feel like we might be able to do okay throughout much of the track. Um, the corkscrew will... Probably be a devil of a thing, but I suppose that would be true regardless of what car we tried to drive down that area. <clears throat> yeah. get my counter steering in, you bastards. Those guys were mean to me. Who would have thought, just because I attempted to sort of dive bomb all of them, that they would have been mean. There was another car that spun out, and it wasn't me, and it was before I even got to the turn, so it wasn't my fault. So that's pretty interesting, right? Look, Blister Storm, you need to not be trying to uh, stay ahead of me. Sometimes in these uh, cars and in these races and in these games, I try to determine what the proper uh, braking zone should be based on the dark part of the uh, pavement. I find if I uh, 
actually start my breaking before then rather than actually then. I do a lot better overall. I live a lot longer. And in this case, we measure life by the amount of time we spend not spinning out. And why, yes, I did take the escape road, service access road. And yes, I did lose this race. How interesting of you to notice. Hey there, two-dimensional fans. That is one thing about uh, Laguna Seca as a circuit. I've never been myself. It seems like it would be a really interesting circuit to go and uh, check out a race at. But, uh... Just looking around here, it doesn't look like there are that many places that are like accessible to uh, just your sort of run-of-the-mill um, pedestrians. I can do better than finishing last. Come on, Storm. Tell me what happens to a toad that's been hit by lightning. Is it the same thing that happens to everything else? If so, it's a delightful story and I want to hear about it. Maybe nobody else thought that was a stupid line, but that was just the one line that I remember from the first X-Men movie. I don't know, I thought the first X-Men movie wasn't that bad. But, um... Just that line was like one of the cheesiest bits of dialogue I feel like I've ever encountered in my life. What? You got through the corkscrew without spinning out and dying? Like I ordinarily would? Ah. That's it. Rage quit. I guess at this point we can also go check out the new cars, and it's it's been some amount of time, I feel like. We can, uh... Ooh. An R34 of a special variety. With 618 horsepower. Was the R34 type one of the trophies? If so, I kind of want to get in that, but I feel like it might try and tell me that this doesn't count as a Nissan anymore. Because it's been given the mines treatment. Hmm, hmm. But yeah, power and torque shell, boost performance is not that large. What? Oh, okay. It is indeed a car that promises to evolve far into the future, even though evolution itself is a mystery. Hey, and we got the zzz. It's the zzz. Wow. It's mid-engined. It's rear-wheel drive. I'm not sure that there are any MR races that, uh... Go up that high in terms of horsepower, though. If there are, that's definitely a car to put in them.
there is one. We're going to have to come back to Red Rock Valley, 591. Yeah, let's get in this car. It almost seems like this race was made for the ZZ2, which is the ZZ Top. It's the ZZ Coliseum. It's the top. Well, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and head out here and save the game. And when we come back, folks, uh, I imagine I'll see whether or not I know how to drive this uh, ZZ2. Uh, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.